Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling excited for a warm, nice day today. So today is Thursday. Which letters make the sound th for Thursday? The T and the U or the T and the H? The T and the H. Thursday. And it's May. Which letter makes the M sound? The M. And the number today is 21. So we're looking for 2 and 1. Here's a 2. Here's a 1. Find them together. There's 1 and 2 for 12. And there's 2 and 1 for 21. And the year is 2020. And tomorrow will be what day? What day comes after Thursday? Thursday and then Friday. And still May. And what number comes after 21? Let's count from 20. 20. 21. 22. 2, 2. Yesterday was what day? What day becomes before Thursday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday. So yesterday was Wednesday, and it was May. And before 21, is it 23 or 20 that comes before 21? It's 20. All right, the weather today, it's supposed to be a nice sunny day today, and it's supposed to be 18 degrees. Let's count to 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And 18 is almost at the 20. It's about right here. And it is warm. Nice and warm. All right, let's do some money math. We're going to do two money amounts again. So I've got what here? It's blue. It is a bill. So we know it's dollars. It is five dollars. And then we've did this coin yesterday. It's got a polar bear, two colors called the toonie. It is two dollars. And actually, I didn't mean to draw that plus because we're going to subtract today. We're going to take away. Oops. Okay, so zero take away zero, we know is zero. Zero, take away zero, again, zero. Bring the decimal down. And now we're going to do five, take away two. So start at five and go one, two. What do we got? Three dollars. So on Tuesday, we added up to three dollars. Yesterday, we added the toonie and the loony to get three dollars. And today we've subtracted the five and the two for three dollars. So different ways to get three dollars. All right, social skill of the day is participating. If you are learning a new lesson or working in a group, you should try to do your part by participating. Participating means taking part in the activity or lesson by raising your hand to answer questions or doing your share of the work. In a group activity, everyone does a part of the work. If you let the other students in your group do all of the work, that isn't really fair, and you might not learn as much. It is important to participate by doing your part. When your teacher is asking questions about a lesson, raising your hand shows you are participating, and it can help you better understand too. Other times, participation is important when you are playing a sport or game or on a team. 
And so this is important to remember for when we get back to school participating, especially because we'll have missed being in school for so long. So you want to make sure that you are participating in all the activities. All right, our question of the day. The question of the day today is, do you like cereal, bagels, or muffins? Okay, so whichever one you chose, I like cereal, bagels, or muffins, and then tell me why. Because it's yummy, it's healthy, it's your favorite. Maybe you like to eat it for breakfast or as a snack. Maybe you like to bake muffins or bagels. Maybe you like a uh, sweet cereal or sweet muffins. Maybe you like to buy bagels and muffins when you go out, maybe from Tim Hortons. Maybe you like to eat it with milk or maybe you like to eat it with cream cheese. There can be lots of reasons why you might like cereal, bagels, or muffins. So tell me one reason. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. Tomorrow will be our last day. See you then.